Hey everyone, I am Horsania from Simply Learn Stream and I welcome you all to this interesting session on variables in C programming. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you'll never miss any update from Simply Learn. Without further ado, let's get started with the agenda for today's session. First, we will understand what are variables in C programming. Next, we will learn how to declare a variable in C and its initialization procedure. And finally, the types of variables in C. I hope I made myself clear with the agenda. Now, let's get started with the first part of today's session. What are variables in C? A variable is a user-defined or a user-readable custom name assigned to a memory location. It is used to hold a value that can be modified and reused many times during the program execution. A variable name can be an alphabet or digits and can also start with an underscore. But a variable name cannot be a keyword. This might be ambiguous and need a little attention to detail. So basically, we can declare a cast name, a person's name or any object's name as a variable. But a variable name cannot be a keyword. They are set of words reserved for specific functionalities in C. These words cannot be used for any other user related or custom functionalities. A few such keywords are int, float, for, while, etc. Now let's look at an example. So in this particular example, the user defined variable A will store value at the address 2000. Upon the variable declaration, the memory allocation happens depending on the type of variable and its size. For example, if the data type is int, it creates the memory for the variable type int. The storage size of int is 2 bytes and 4 bytes for float. Let us now understand variable declaration in C with the help of syntax and examples. Syntax of variable declaration is data type, variable list and semicolon at the end. Values assigned to variables can be of any data type like int, float, char, etc. So in this example, int is a data type, a, b and sum are the variable list. And there are specific rules for naming a variable. Here are the valid variable names. In sum, float underscore a, b, int b20. With these examples, we understood that a variable can have alphabets, start with an underscore character, and have digits. Now let's look at some invalid variable names. For example, int 30a. A variable name cannot start with digits. In the next example, we cannot have white space within a variable name. And variable name cannot be a keyword. Now let's try to declare invalid variable names and run the program. int 30a float x space y and int go to so after declaring invalid variable names we got an error for all the variable declaration stating that invalid suffix a on integer constant expected comma semicolon before y and expected identifier. Now that we know how to declare a C variable, let's move ahead and understand C variable initialization with the help of syntax and examples. Syntax of variable initialization is data type variable 1 is equal to value 1, comma variable 2 is equal to value 2 and semicolon. So this is how we initialize the variable. For example, int a is equal to 10, comma b is equal to 20, comma sum. 10 is assigned to a variable a of type integer, value 20 is assigned to a variable b of the same type, and we have declared a variable sum. Okay, so let me now move on to the types of variables in C. There are five types of C variables. Let us understand one by one. Variables that are declared inside the functions are called local variables. In this example, we have declared variable a inside the function sum that holds the value 5. Let's try to execute a simple program using local variables in VS Code Editor. 
Inside the function, let's declare and initialize the local variable. Int a is equal to 5. And then the printf function to print the value. Printf percentage d comma a. Here, the value is printed successfully using local variable. Alright, let's move on to the next type of variable. Variables declared outside the functions are called global variables. Here is the example where float pi is equal to 3.14, a global variable defined outside the functions. Let's try to execute the program using global variables. Here, let's add the function circle and try to access the global variable in the function. Float pi is equal to 3.14, which is a global variable. Int circle, which is a function. And inside function, let's declare variable r and area. Int r is equal to 5 double area formula for area of the circle area is equal to pi into r into r written area inside void main let's call the function circle Print f percentage d comma circle. As you can see, the circle's value for the area is printed successfully using global variable. Next. Variables declared with a keyword static are static variables whose lifetime is throughout the program runtime. As you can see in this example, static is a keyword used to declare a variable sum. Let's execute simple program using static keyword. Inside the function calculate, let's declare the variable sum with static keyword and initialize the value to zero. Static int sum is equal to zero. Sum plus plus to increment the value of sum by 1. Return sum. Inside the main function, let's call the function two times. Print f. Percentage d. Comma calculate. For every function call, the value of the static variable will increment and print new value. That means the sum value was initially 0 and then incremented by 1 and printed value 1. Now the sum value is 1. The sum value will increment by 1 for the next function call and print the new value 2. Let's remove this keyword static and now run the program. As you can see the previous output with static keyword, for every function call, the value of the sum is incremented. Without static keyword, the value will be same for every function call. I hope you got the idea of using a static keyword, right? Next, variables declared with auto keywords are known as automatic variables. 
The variables declared inside the block of functions are automatic variables by default. In this example, int a is equal to 10 is an automatic variable by default. Now let's execute a program using the auto keyword. int a is equal to 10. By default, this is an automatic variable. Let us also declare a variable with auto keyword. auto int b is equal to 20. print f percentage t comma a and let's print the value for b and here you get the output next external variables share the variables among the multiple c files to declare external variables we use the keyword extern let's see how the extern keyword works first create a file with a dot h extension a header file and define a variable with an extern keyword extern int x is equal to 10 comma y is equal to 20 In the file demo.c, let's try to access the external variables. So for that, let's include the header file demo.h. Hash include demo.h. Now inside the main function, let's declare the variable add. Int add. And now let's print the value for x and y using printf function. Printf percentage d comma x and let's print the value for y. And let's perform addition operation. For that, add is equal to x plus y. Print f percentage d comma add. As you can see, the output is printed successfully by using external variables. So with this, we have come to the end of this session on the variables in C programming. I hope this session was informative and interesting. Until next time, this is Sanya from Simply Learn's team signing off. Thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.